This here is a, an X-ray of a person that has a COVID-19. We're here at UBCO where researchers have been working with artificial intelligence to come up with a program that can determine with 95% accuracy which chest X-ray shows a case of COVID-19 and which doesn't. This uh, software that we have, um, it will be able to learn from its mistakes and, and once it collects more data from patients and more cases that are uh, falsely detected, it will learn from it to enhance its performance and increase the accuracy. But uh, again, that performance is based on the data set that we have used to train it or to teach it how to detect the COVID-19 cases. In the future, uh, can artificial intelligence take place? I think human, human factor cannot be disposed of. Uh, there is definitely still going to be the physician making the final judgment. In, in terms of artificial intelligence, I don't think we're at that level where it can make completely the final decision. It can help, and that's what we are trying to use right now. It can help speed the process, make uh, timely interventions similar to here. Uh, it, it detects someone with a COVID-19 infection automatically. You need to isolate, don't go anywhere right now. Whereas if, if it's just taking the x-ray chest, he can go home, interact with people until he sees his physician to tell him if he's uh, carrying COVID-19 or not. So that can help a lot in preventing the spread of the uh, pandemic. All right. Well, thanks very much for your time and explaining it for us. Okay. Thank you for coming and uh, all the best for everyone. All right. Thanks. Thank you.